Today I want to talk to you about uh, fish philosophy. This is something I bumped into in late, sometimes late in 1990s, eh? 1990s, yes, thereabout. And I remember very well I was working in Alliance Hotels, a very big brand then, and Alliance Hotels was ahead of its time, and it used to really, really take the issue of employees and work environment to the next level. Believe me or not, in this part of the world, in the 1990s, when you're talking about balance scorecard, it was unheard of. We were doing balance scorecards in the late 1990s. Anyway, story for another day. I do remember when fish philosophy was introduced to us. I don't know how it came about, but I remember we were very obsessed. Yeah? Very, very obsessed. And uh, I was in connection and in contact with Edward. Edward Duangeshi is now the chair of Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers in like keep your circuit and you could literally see all of us were just over the moon anyway to cut the story short hear me the fish philosophy is basically a workplace motivation and culture model that is to, i mean that it was inspired by an energetic and a positive env environment of a fishmonger company, I think somewhere in Seattle, called, I mean, the company is called Pike, Pike Place Fish Market, yes. So somebody observed that the workers, despite the demanding nature of the job, you know, it's boring dealing with fish eh? the whole day, but despite the nature of the job, they maintained a lively and enthusiastic atmosphere. It is after that the philosophy was born. And it teaches four things that were observed about these fishmongers and how they were conducting their day to day. Um, the four teachings one is play. Embrace fun at work. Embrace fun at work. Just the way you see now the baristas in a bar, they play around with glasses and bottles and the rest. They're having fun. Yeah? You can even find a dress, the band is playing, she's serving, and she's dancing a little bit without inconvenience anybody, but you can see some movement of the body. The other point is make someone's day make someone's day you know you are among each other within the community even as a business you can decide i'll make my employees day or an employee to employ you make somebody's day just do something maybe it's the collar is not turned well yeah or a button somewhere fix it fix it eh? or let the person know something make somebody until somebody just feels yes this is awesome Making someone's day makes somebody or makes other people feel valued. The other thing, be there. Be very present. When you are throwing fish and receiving fish, if you are absent-minded, the fish will drop. So these guys were working with fish, and you could literally see that, yes, this person was 100% present, no daydreaming, very focused on the job and what they are doing. Being very, very fully present. And the fourth, choose your attitude. Make a choice. You choose a, an attitude and definitely you choose a positive attitude. This is a, a way of just saying you are taking responsibility for your outlook. There are very many major brands using this philosophy up to today as we are talking in 2024 southwest airlines and even google have embraced this fish philosophy they have many organizations also in middle east who've tried to do this i remember a few years ago when i was working with my last employer I was discussing with the director of operation and I noticed he also had the concept of fish and I asked, hey, how, how comes we've not been 
shouting about fish in our community. And we shared some thoughts and definitely it, it was something that has been embraced in directly or indirectly. But yes, many people are working towards this because a happy environment